First up at 5.30, an effort to turn manure into renewable natural gas is coming to several farms in West Michigan. News 8's Byron Tollefson joins us now to show us how they're putting animal waste to work. Yeah, Brian and Sue, this technology has been around for a while, but with more federal incentives for renewable energy projects, companies are bringing it right here to West Michigan. Turning manure into renewable natural gas that can be used to power vehicles and heat our homes. It's a real win-win um, that we're celebrating today. Seven farms in West Michigan, including in Greenville, Coopersville, and Hartford, are building anaerobic digesters that turn animal waste into fuel. They're getting it done with the help of Brightmark, a waste solutions company, and Chevron. They celebrated the project's launch at Meadow Rock Dairy in Greenville. It's all made possible by the cows, so let's give it up for the cows. When manure from cattle breaks down, it produces biogas. If we didn't employ that technology, we would end up with the methane that manure creates going into the atmosphere, which is a very potent greenhouse gas. But instead of letting it go into the atmosphere, these farmers will take manure and put it into the anaerobic digester. The manure stays in there for about three weeks, and then it turns into methane and then it's upgraded into renewable natural gas. That's put into gas pipelines, used to heat our homes or power our cars and trucks. What's left of it is sent back to the farm to be used as fertilizer or animal bedding. It's great for our farming community. It's great for sustainability and the environment, and then it's economically an investment. Brightmark CEO says once the projects are up and running, they will reduce more than 135,000 tons of CO2 equivalent each year. That would be the equivalent of planting about 180,000 acres a year of trees. And so a much cleaner answer for the environment. This is one of dozens of Brightmark projects working with 40 farms nationwide, all of which have started in the last few years. Brian and Sue.